Hi everybody, we've got a Sanyo PLV Z4 LCD projector to look at today. It is functional, makes a picture, but the picture's not very bright and I think the color is off. It's kind of a yellow or orangish tinge to the picture. So I suspect the uh, panels might need some cleaning or the uh, polarizer for the green might need adjustment. So I have it running. It's currently showing a some drone footage from Europe somewhere. And let's see, if you look at the laptop, And then we go back here. It's not very bright first off, but the uh, greens are kind of, I don't know, reddish, I guess is the best way to describe it. I'm gonna put some color bars up. Let's do that, or white. Let's look, find a white video. Let's see. Wait a minute. So here's a pure white image. Now it looks kind of blue on the camera. So there's that one. It's a darker blue. I guess because my white balance isn't calibrated on this camera. But the, it kind of has a, uh, at least to me, it has kind of a yellowish, orangish tint to it. Let's see if I can fix the... Uh, all right, so I got the white bounce cleared up. The uh, walls here are tan, so that actually looks pretty good. I'll show you the laptop. You can see the laptop has a very plain white image. This one also is white, but it's kind of yellow. So to look at that, or to look at fixing that, we are going to go inside here turn the power off. I believe there's either some dirt on the LCD panels on that optic block or possibly the uh, polarizers need adjustment. So we're going to take the main board out here as soon as the fans turn off. All right, so power's off. I actually let this sit for a good half hour just to... Uh, let everything cool down. I don't know if you all can hear that, but it is raining like mad. I'm going to see if I can leave these wires in and just disconnect these wires. We'll see how that back plate is. What's holding this down? Uh, actually, I'm going to leave these two plugged in. But not these. These fans or temperature sensors. Alright, so then to unhook the LCDs, these are ZIF connectors. Just push the clips out. Then that ribbon cable can pop right out. Uh, 
this screw. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of rain. I'm going to see if I can fix this with some captain tape. It's not critical, but it definitely helps. There's the optic section. This is the LCD panel. There's our green. I think that's blue. Yeah, and there's red. Now these, make sure I'm looking at this right. I believe it's this one right here. These are the polarizers. We can swing those side to side and that will change the uh, color purity. But we're gonna see if it's a dirt issue first. I wanna see how I can release that because I do see it's a plastic. Looks like it got dropped at one time by the corner, but Trying to figure out the best way to pop that out. Some screws down there, but... Yeah. One moment. All right, so to take this out, I'm going to take the screw out here. Then this uh, light mask comes out. Then you need a 564 hex because there are four fasteners down here. Now you can't really see them. Once the last one's out, that whole thing should lift out. I just saw it move. What I like to do is just kind of hold it by all three and just lift straight up. Oop. See where the screws fell out. So here's the, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, here's the optical block. It's the green panel. There's the blue panel. There's the red panel. And the panels don't actually set the color. The uh, panels have the color light fed into them. Then they go into this cube. And the cube is actually four triangles of glass, as you can see in the top there. And they bond them together. And if you look, if you look on the front, this is kind of dirty. So I'm thinking a good cleaning is going to take care of all of this. I want to get those other screws out. There's one. And I don't know where the other one went. Maybe it fell out. Oh, now I hear it. Let's see if I can find it. All right, so I'm out of the tripod just to show you more of what's going on. These are the polarizers right here. That wire, that's a temperature sensor. That monitors the temperature of this area. This is the shortest light path. The uh, light comes in. 
it can split into its colors here. And then the red path comes in through there. Uh, so that's a very short, or red, or is that a, sorry, blue. Blue is the short one. So blue comes out here. So the blue only has to go that far. So this is going to get hottest rather than the red, which goes all the way through to that one right there. And then blue. So I'm not real worried about those yet. Those polarizers look good. The uh, optics look good. Back of the lens looks all right. I think everything's gonna be in that optic block. So let's clean that. All right, so I cleaned it. Some glass cleaner and a microfiber. That did a really nice job. Needs just a little more. What I like to do is kind of swirl it so that you don't get lines. So then when I reflect some light off of it, I can see in the bottom right hand corner there's still some dried glass cleaner that needs to be buffed off. Let me try a little more glass cleaner. It's not perfect. All right, I like that. You should be able to see that that is very clean. I also wiped those down. So, next thing I want to do is clean the back of the lens. Again, using a circular motion. There are better products for doing this besides a uh, microfiber cloth, but this is a, uh, it's like a 10 year old projector, so we're not gonna go nuts with it. Actually, it might be older than that. It's only 720. Or it might be 1080, I forget, but it's old, older. So that's good. That's good. Um, yeah. All right. We can put the uh, optical block back in. Put it back in the same way I took it out, holding all three at the same time and just gently lowering it in. It's lined right on its pins. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go magnetize this. All right, I magnetized it so it'll hold those hex screws. And I'm only putting them in until they stop. Once they're all installed, I'll go around and tighten them like you would a uh, car tire or anything else where you need to have equal torque. There may even be an actual torque spec for them, but I don't know what it is. And I'm not really going to worry about it. put this light mask back in.
You have to make sure the clips in the front line up. Holy crap, that's loud. A lot of rain. Hmm. I just noticed. That's factory, but oof. Let's see, and it's going to a what is that going to? Resistor. Who knows? Alright. Put two of these back in for now. Oh, I almost forgot this. There we go. So that's those. LCD panels back in. They should almost line get themselves in. You just don't want to see any of that contact sticking out. See, this harness is a temperature sensor array. And then we have some fans. And then I think this also is temperature sensors. All right.
So that's good. All well, that's back in, that's in. Now for testing to see if that made any difference before we start playing with the polarizers. Plug the keyboard back in. And we'll put some power on it. All right. That's the front door opening. And there we go, the lamp just ignited. I still have that white image up. So we should see it any moment now. And hopefully it's nice and white looking and not yellow or tan or whatever it was. a little better. I'll check our uh, menu settings. Oh, that's actually a lot better now that it's up to brightness. It's very white now. Just want to make sure all this stuff is set to um you know, set to the middle or original. And that is that yeah, virus is auto, black stretch. All right. That looks good. There's normal. Let's go to full. There we are. <laughs> it's rolling off the edge of the screen a little, but that looks a lot better. That that's the whole, the whole screen using all of the panel. There we go. That's actually using all the panel. Um, if you had, uh, in fact, we're going to do that. Let's go to let's go to the other video. Yeah, that looks a lot better than it did before. The um, the greens don't look as orange now. Yep, 1024 by 768. Let's get that off. So this is good. This picture looks a lot better. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to go turn the light off so you can see it better. All right, there we go. That's with the light off, so it's nice and bright. So it's a little too bright for the uh, camera. Yeah, that's really bright. But the uh, picture looks beautiful now. Actually looks nicer than the uh, laptop screen in person. So the next step is to shut this down and put it back together. Need to put these back in. Yeah, I'm not going to use the uh, drill driver on these for the simple reason that the plastic I'm screwing into is definitely old and brittle and will split. And these are shorty little screws. I don't need to, uh, you know, do the drill for these. Are in. There's the top LED light pipes are in place, power buttons, clicks, and we can put it back on the projector. And put the top back on. 
you have to reconnect the keyboard. This is why I take the keyboard out to work on it, because otherwise you have to deal with the uh, top flopping around everywhere. You know, it's a little difficult. Then we're gonna slide these through the holes so they line up with the threads. Really, this should just kind of drop down. The only problem is up in that front where it was obviously dropped or hit. Come on. Mm. There we go. I'm not going to be able to do much about that, but it's not going to affect the operation. And once we put some screws in, it'll be a lot happier. All right. That didn't really feel like it went in right. Just used to the um, plastic threads that get tight right away, but that one's not grabbing. Uh, I see. I'll show you. Since everything's kind of torqued in that corner, I need to just push down a little. There we go. And then last we have these, uh, these guys in the back. I have one that goes here that's tapered. And one that I dropped on the floor which will go in that other hole. We have one more that goes here. And then after this, I will take those filters out of the back and give them a blast of air. And then we'll try it out again. As the filters come out, you uh, lift the door up. Oh, man. It's a little dirty. This one. So this one's, this one's shot, it's dry rotted, but all is not lost, that can be replaced. So I'm going to pull all the old foam out.
We'll put some new foam in in a moment. Go clean this one. All right. So that actually is the right color. But I got all the dust out. So now this one can go back in. Put this back on. And I'll get some foam for this one. And here is the filter material I'm going to use. This is just normal open cell uh, air conditioner, window air conditioner foam. I've got a sheet of it from McMaster car, I don't know, a year ago. And I just cut it to size. So I'll just line it up in there. There we go. That'll do it. That'll work just fine. Now you could glue it in if you wanted to, but realistically, once you put the cover on, the cover holds it in place. So there's really no point in gluing it. It's up to you though. You could glue it if you wanted. So now we're going to try it again, all fully assembled because if you don't try it once it's fully assembled, for whatever reason, the electronic repair gods will make it not work. Go figure. All right, so, show you what I'm doing. VGA cable to computer in, power cord. And let's, uh, Let's watch it from the front so you can see the door open. So that's coming on. Let's get here so we can see the screen. And we'll have that. Uh, now it's a little crooked because I don't have the feet adjusted, but there we go. I'll just hold it. You get the idea. Let's put something under it. There we go. There we are. So. I think that'll do it. I am uh, very happy with this. And I'm sure my buddy will be happy with it too. So if you have any questions about fixing a uh, Sanyo PLV Z4 or Z5, uh, keep in mind they do take a POA LMP94 lamp. You wanna make sure there's a Phillips bulb in there or a Matsushita bulb. Phillips works just fine though. No reason to get the Matsushita unless you really want it. So, uh, yeah, leave any comments or questions below. And, uh, you know, check my About page if you want to email me. And as always, thank you for watching.